The best knives in CS2 for a $1,000 budget, but I will cover many budgets until that price point. Starting off with the M9 Bayonet Black Laminate, Battle Scarred, and if you want a black combo then this is just perfect. It's currently the knife that I'm using and I love it, it costs around $701. The Kukri Knife Slaughter Factory New is the best skin for the Kukri and the fade is also possible but I prefer the solder and the price is way below the budget because this one is just $552. Then the butterfly knife stained minimal wear and I use this one for a long time, for many it's the best knife in the game and the stain is actually very shiny and it costs $826. The Bayonet Gamma Doppler Factory New is very nice and for this one I chose the phase 3 which is $816. I would like to go for the phase 2 as to me it's the best one but sadly it is a bit over the budget because it costs $1015. Then we have the Stiletto Knife Doppler Factory New and I chose the phase too. I don't love the stiletto personally but this skin is the best one for this budget if you want the stiletto and the price is around $790. And before we go to the next one, this video was sponsored by Skins Monkey, which is a trading platform where you can trade your old rusty CS2 skins for some new shiny ones in seconds. You just select the skins that you want to trade and the ones that you want to get. You click trade and it's done. If you use my code OSNI on the website you get a bonus of up to $5 for free and a 35% bonus when buying balance. They also host giveaways in the freebies page and link to Skins Monkey is in the description. The M9 Bayonet Lore Field Tested and this one is one of my favorite knives in the entire game but if you're going for the Field Tested you have to get it with under 0.22 float and in that case it will be a bit more expensive than the average float because it costs $930. The Karambit Freehand Factory New is a skin that people in general don't like. I don't know why but the Freehand is just a skin that doesn't get much love but it is pretty good for a purple loadout and it is very shiny too for $730. Then we have the Skeleton Knife Crimson Web field tested and I think that the Crimson Web goes very hard with the Skeleton Knife but if you're going to get this one similarly to the M9 lore you have to get it with low float. I would say that under 0.23 is good enough because if you're getting over that it is going to have scratches and the price in that case is around $675. Then the Butterfly Knife Autotronic Battle Scarred and sadly the budget doesn't allow for better conditions but that's not a big deal because this one is not scratched as the Autotronic only gets darker in higher floats and this one costs $950. Then we have the Talon Knife Tiger 2 Factory New and if you don't have the budget for a Karambit this is the next best choice and the Tiger 2 looks great for $620. Then we have the Kukri Knife Fade Factor New and I don't love the Fade skin but it's the most expensive one for the Kukri and a lot of people seem to like it. The price of this one is $866. The Bayonet Marble Fade Factory New is a nice one and unless you go for like a fire and ice pattern this is pretty affordable for this budget as it is only $575. Then the Karamit Lore Field tested for $821 and this is the normal price but if you want to get this one I would say that just like the M9 get it with under 0.22 float and in that case the price is going to be around $850. Then the M9 Bayonet Blue Steel Field tested and this skin got a huge upgrade in CS2. The blue is dark which I love and for $700 I think this one is great. And lastly the Nomad Knife Fade Factory New and the Nomad only has a few skins available sadly so I had to go with this one but it's not worth the $943 in my opinion but that's just because I don't like the fade in general. If you like it then this one is great. That is it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for daily CS2 content.